ことは任せろ。What's up, everybody? It's Eon here with a Final Fantasy XV news update. The following information once again comes from Game Informer and their extensive coverage of Final Fantasy XV for the month of April. This time, I would like to discuss information that they shared regarding the Regalia, the car that Noctis inherits from his father. Players will have access to the car pretty much at the beginning of the game. Noctis' adventure begins as he departs from his home city of Insomnia to journey to the city of Alticia to be wedded to Luna, taking his father's car and his three companions with him. The game opens with the car broken down, forcing the crew to push the car to the nearest gas station. From there on out, the regalia will be a constant element for the remainder of the game. According to the article, the regalia is much more than just a form of transportation. Game director Hajime Tabata had the following to say about it. There are three aspects to the car in this game. The first is the story. The son is traveling the world in his father's car, so it connects to the father son relationship. The second is the car as a form of transport. The last is that it's also something that is customizable. I find the first aspect of the regalia quite interesting. Something that the Platinum demo hinted at is that the car was something of a safe haven for Noctis, as it was one of the few times that he would spend time with his busy father, which further goes with the idea that the regalia connects to the father and son relationship. Game Informer also revealed through their cover story article that Final Fantasy XV features flashbacks that will occasionally be triggered by certain events. As an example, at one point in Chapter 1, Noctis encounters one of Luna's two dogs, Umbra, who was there as a recipient of a package from Cindy. When Noctis approaches the dog, a brief flashback sequence is triggered showing young Noctis and Luna talking. We get a glimpse of this sequence in one of the trailers shown during the uncovered event. So, if flashbacks like these can happen at any given moment, I wouldn't be surprised if the regalia ended up being a source of flashbacks involving Noctis as a child and his father, King Regis, to further deepen and flesh out that relationship. This is all speculation at this point, obviously, but it certainly seems possible. The second aspect of the car is, of course, transportation, and this one's quite obvious. We have already seen a lot of footage of how this works. The car has both an automatic mode that will take you to a selected location, or a manual mode that will allow you to roam around at will. Now, it was revealed that you can actually crash the car, with physical damage being represented visually, so you might want to avoid going all GTA in the manual mode. And then there's, of course, the regalia's ability to fly, although no details were shared about this transportation method, except that it Would be a late game thing. This probably goes in line with the third aspect of the regalia, customization, but the team were tight lipped about the matter. Moving on, artist Yusaku Nakaki discussed how the regalia was designed. He had the following to say about the matter In terms of creating the car, we had one big objective design a convertible that was valued at $500,000. The reason we did that was, regardless of any individual artist's preferences, we had to create a design that looked expensive and royal from anyone's eyes. To achieve that look, Nanaki and company had to do quite a bit of research. He said, We actually went on location to places like Rolls Royce, experiencing and looking at and feeling what an actual expensive car is, and we would look at the details, like what type of materials and paints were used to lend different qualities. Those details accumulate into that expensive look and feel, and we try to implement that into the game. Yeah, I would say that they were pretty successful in that endeavor. The car looks classy as shit. Top 1% of the top 1% style of luxury. One final detail about the regalia from Game Informer is that because of what an important role it plays in the game and its story, it'll follow the player wherever they may go. So if you travel by boat or train, the car will somehow come along with you, although how exactly wasn't detailed. At the same time, Tabata emphasized that the regalia won't overshadow the importance of other modes of transportation, stating the following. The car itself is obviously very important because it's closely knit with the story, but that isn't to say that other transport methods are less important. They're all important to get a good sense of the world. And that about sums up all of the information revealed about the regalia in Game Informer's latest cover story. And with that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts about what the development team had to say about the regalia. And to be further updated on gaming news, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Yong out!